I'm Joe, that's Nick, that's Steve, and who am I forgetting about? George. There's George there, too. Welcome to the show, everybody. This is the show where we watch all 11,000 of our VHS tapes here at our office in Gowanus, Brooklyn. And uh, how are you guys doing? You guys doing good? You feeling You feeling? Feeling good? Yeah, feeling great. I got some new tapes that uh, I haven't decided to dive into. First of all, the spring holiday survival video. You know how it's tough to survive? Easter I almost die day. every single every single March. I almost die. It's life and death usually. So yeah, yeah, graduation day, Memorial Day. Well, Memorial Day 2000 did look like there were some fatalities there. True. But, um, but yeah, the, this couple is going to take us through and teach us the survival. Uh, Are they celebrities or just like whatever's? They're they're probably crafting celebrities. I'm guessing. Okay. So, right. Yeah. We'll okay. See. Um, this one I just pulled this one off the shelf. I forgot about this one completely. Yoga for meditators with uh, John Friend. It, it didn't just come in, but I just I forgot that we had it. And yeah, uh, yeah there's Friend. There's John Friend. There's John Friend. Oh, also it's uh, also check it out, Nick. You'll get a kick out of this. Sixty nine cents. Why would I get a kick out of that? Sexuality. Oh, uh, I pulled this one off the shelf. We've had this for a while too. Um, for Easter, it's Baby Huey's uh, Great Easter Adventure here, and it's a costumed baby huey it's not the cartoon baby huey it's actually a live person in a costume interacting with kids so yeah okay all right i'm i guess i'm looking forward to that one uh bob sent this one to us do you stutter a video for stuttering teens uh, straight talk for teens and you know this isn't really a video that we would probably show because you know we're not gonna you know but it's an actual affliction yeah exactly exactly but there's a a, a doctor on here and his, last, his name is Dr. Barry Guitar. <laughs> That's his actual last name. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So uh, That's my nickname for George now, Dr. Barry Guitar. This guy's, this guy's a doctor of rock and roll. That could be is your new, like, alter ego. Like, hi, oh, there's Lester Luster. Dr. Barry Guitar could be another one of your yeah, like, solo projects. Here's the costume, a guitar. That's it. There we go. I like uh, it. Um, we have a so, lot to look forward to uh, in terms you know of what new tapes. I really want to do is the, the montage of funny names. I think we're ready to make that montage now that we got Dr. Barry Guitar. <laughs> yeah, he was the one. He was what we were waiting for. <laughs> I think uh, John Friend, Barry Guitar, they'll all be there in the funny name montage. <laughs> Can't uh, wait. Uh, hey, let's, let's kick things off with a uh, uh, timely uh, Found Footage Festival classic. Oh. You caught me with my pants down, but no one sells carpet or waterbeds for less. This one comes from a VCR party found footage festival classic. This is Sing Along with Frank Worley. We found this at a thrift store in Milwaukee. Then we found like 12 more and we bought all of them. We spent $160 on this entire collection. And it's this guy from central Wisconsin singing these old standards. And uh, he has green screen. There's lots of misspellings, but possibly the best one is when Irish eyes are smiling. Would you agree with that, Nick? I, I do, because I think they attempted some stuff with green screen that has not been done before. And yeah. uh, the lyrics are on screen, so sing along with us. All right, here it is. When Irish eyes are smiling. Happy, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just so blown out, too. Oh, yeah. Irish eyes are smiling. Sure, it's like a morning spring. Let's 
just say it like that. In the lift. Yeah, close enough. You can hear the angles sing. Angles. When Irish hearts are happy. Oh, it's not right All the world seems bright and gay. And when Irish eyes are smiling, sure. Sure. It's pretty good. <laughs> sure, pretty good there. Watch this catch. Watch this king catch here. It's okay. pretty good. As far as king catches go, this is one of the yeah. better ones. Eyes are smiling. Oh, sure that is good. He snagged that fucker. Yeah. Yeah. Eyes are smiling. Sure, they'll steal your heart away. Dancing on a toad stool. Is that how big leprechauns are? Or are they like three feet high? I don't know what they're supposed to be. I'll, I'll have to check the Bible. I'm yeah. Not sure. It's St. Patrick had to say about that. Yeah. The ultimate Packer fan. Oh, it is! <laughs> And you know we made we made Ultimate Packer fan before we had even seen this. Yeah. So But the the idea was very similar. Yes. I don't know. I think you can sue him for a copyright infringement. I think we should. Even What's though it? we're on friendly terms with him and he's a really nice guy. Let's I think have our should. lawyer just go after him hard. Shoo, <laughs> sue the pants off of him. Remember, a lawsuit is just a crossover. <laughs> That's true. watching this whole thing no i think that's probably funny <laughs> i didn't know if you had the whole song there does, or... i got the does whole he, song yeah. does he wipe his nose here again too oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that was yeah, an interesting like direction all right, all right yeah, i want yeah, you to take right. this back <laughs> the green hanky yeah yeah oh yeah Her, Her, no, it's, let's, let's finish it off it's like a morning let's say it's like a morning spring okay in the land of Irish laughter, you can hear the angels sing. When Irish hearts are happy, all the world seems bright and gay. And just kind of been sitting there for a while. And when Irish eyes are smiling, sure they'll steal your heart. The, fix, the physics check out on that, right? I think so. That's how, <laughs> yeah. that's how a leprechaun would slide smiling. off the stool. Sure steal your heart away. <laughs> no jig there. Oh, bless their hearts. Yep, there it we, is. We never do get to watch Moonlight Bay, but that's for a later <laughs> episode. Uh-huh. Uh, look, at this, look at this single frame. There's one frame in here. It's oh. of Frank Worley sitting there with a green shirt on. <laughs> hmm. That, you won't get this anywhere else. On <laughs> this yeah. is a VCR party exclusive. That's subliminal it's, to make you buy more. Of it his is. Yeah. Yep. It it's works. like Fight Club, where they cut in just those extra yeah. frames. <laughs> yes, it worked. It did. Just well, like happy St. Patrick's Day. I have plenty more Irish content coming up. Well, fake Irish content. So <laughs> don't go anywhere. Is anybody here part Irish or... Yeah, I got a little bit in me. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh okay. yeah, I'm a bastard of Europe. So yeah. Okay. Well you guys will appreciate the videos I have. Yeah, of course. Have on deck, yeah. It's really uh, close to home for me. Yep, I'm sure it will. Yeah. How about some celebrity uh, bullshit? Sure. Yeah. Let's I got uh yeah, well let's let's kick it. I forgot we got a uh we have a, a intro graphic for Oh let's right, I forgot. Kick it off with this. Hollywood. Yes. Hey listeners. We got Larry Hank, Robert E. Mike Ditka, Coolio, and Robert. Pencil Town's finest. Yep. Uh, all right. So this one comes from Bob sent this one too. Jana King. Are you guys familiar with Jana King at all? No. Okay. I don't know what that is at all. Uh, People Pride. Uh, I, I don't, I didn't have to cover anything up because they don't even talk about the celebrity anywhere huh. in here. <laughs> they don't even feature the no? celebrity on the front. Well, you know who they, I'm going to guess is in it? Lisa okay. Gibbons, because the one time I didn't, I was I paid the price. I'll I'm I'm, I'm going to keep you on your toes, Nick, okay. for that for that mistake. All right. Um, I'll, well, I'll give you some clues. Nick, you can stick with Lisa Gibbons or you mm -hmm. can I'll, I'll allow you to change it. Uh, this is a an he, he's an older man, balding, he's still on TV. Um, 
And he's not always on TV. There's only a certain part of the year where he's on TV. There's your clues. Hmm. George, Steve, you guys got anything? Holler it out. Herb from the Burger King commercials. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go with Santa Claus. Okay. See, it would make sense that they do Herb from the Burger King commercials because they probably wouldn't want to put him on the cover. You right. know, they probably just want to bury that. I mean, Richard Karn, but he has all of his hair. He does a lot of videos. Slightly Ed Asner. Um, I'm going to say, uh, I'll say Jason Alexander. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Here's uh, this week in Celebrity Bullshit. I like the techno so far. We should do this week in techno soundtracks. <laughs> this week in flying clouds. <laughs> Hi, I'm Terry Brad. Uh, of course. Sports are a lot like business. Wait, did you hear that? The, sports are a the, lot like business. That analogy? Yes, yeah, sports are a lot like business. <laughs> the audio is so terrible. It's so bad. Hi, I'm Terry Bradshaw. You know, sports are a lot like business. Wait, how do you guys think sports is a lot like business? You uh, want to score a touchdown? Fast, uh, pa- fast paced. Double entry bookkeeping. <laughs> well, you've got to have a solid game plan. That- In order to succeed, succeed well, you, have- you got to yeah. have a solid game solid plan. Game plan. Okay. okay. That's That's fair. That- Thousands of people around the world have invested. But don't in take it from me. Here's Lisa Gibbons. <laughs> For more than 30 years, franchisees have been. He's just kind of like looking up there, isn't he? He's just like kind of looking up right. is? Yeah. <laughs> Following a time tested program. He doesn't really seem like a memorizer to me. No. Janet King at the top of their game. Consistently ranked number one. Low investment franchise opportunity in Entrepreneur Magazine's annual Franchise 500. <laughs> Jana Keene makes it easy to own your own business. Franchise. Hey, what size golf shirt can Jan- we put you in for this? <laughs> also, look, it's a double. XL's fine. <laughs> a double embroidery. I know. Left both right both breast. Breast. Yeah, both sides of the lapel. Jana Keene's network of regional. Unprecedented. That's, a, that's the same shirt he wore when he played for the Steelers, right? Yeah, under his jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Or offices that provide sales, operational, administrative, and accounting. He looks assistance. like his glaucoma. Because <laughs> he's looking, off, he's looking off here where the teleprompter is. And he's also been hit in the head like five hundred times. <laughs> yeah. And accounting assistance. The folks at Janet King like to say that. What Janet do they do? King's I don't know. <laughs> business for themselves, but not by themselves. It's a true team effort. Oh, one more, one more sports analogy yeah, there. Enjoy effort. the rest of the video and rem- enjoy the rest of the video. Don't just sit on the sidelines and watch everyone else. Oh, one more. Join Jana King's yeah. number one team today. <laughs> maybe, wow. they, take. maybe they make steel curtains or something. Maybe it does make sense, but I'm just not seeing. Oh, maybe they're a Pittsburgh business they or could something. Could be. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, well, let's talk sweet. about uh, sellout Steve. Steve offers his background to one um, lucky person who wants to promote their business or a friend's business or a special occasion. And what do we have this week? Well, first, I want to just tell you, we have some spots available. So if anybody is interested, please reach out at steve at foundfootagefest.com. Okay. Uh, we'd love to have it. Uh, this week, we are um, featuring video game Nirvana. It's in um, Madison, Ohio. And here's the description. From Pong to PlayStation, Video Game Nirvana has it all. Visitor call RJ if you're in the market to buy, sell, or trade retro or modern video games and game systems. Right up my alley. Video Game Nirvana also carries accessories that allow you to connect to your beloved retro consoles to modern TVs. Are you a PC gamer? Video Nirvana has an impressive selection of big box PC games from the 80s and 90s. Not local to Madison, Ohio. No problem. Video, video game Nirvana will ship merchandise to all over the U.S. So call or stop in now. You have the you have the reading ability of uh, Terry Bradshaw. Terry Bradshaw, <laughs> listen. Is there I am trying. I'm giving it to game, my all. We we need to get video game Nirvana embroidered on both sides of that. <laughs> and have you read that again? <laughs> yes. Uh, well, no, well, we've had good. two back-to-back Ohio businesses, but uh, yeah, that is great. There are so many. Uh, we we've covered some of these video games on. Uh, Saturday morning cartoons recently because there's a James Bond Jr. Super Nintendo game that we talked about. Oh, they probably have that's that featured right the well the, the right there. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the Super Nintendo. Oh yeah, yeah. They definitely. I, I always like too. going into those places. 
Um, yeah, that's so, fun. And if we're near there on tour, I'll check it out. Oh, yeah, that's totally a tour stop. Hey, I got some uh, Irish flying windows. Do you want to see those? Timely. This week in flying windows, I have, you know, sometimes they don't hit you over the head. They're subtle. They're subdued. But you have to include those as well. And then that makes you appreciate the wilder flying windows. So this one's from a 1991 video called Touring Ireland. Welcome to Ireland. The fabled ring of Kerry. Very cool, white Port, border. Site of the Blarney Stone, which pilgrims suffer backache and vertigo to kiss. Wexford, ancestral home of John F. Kennedy. The golf lovers Ireland. And especially, the Horse Lovers Ireland. Whatever their well, origins, I don't know. these traveling people have a rich and different culture. When it comes to flying windows. <laughs> <laughs> I just included that because it, oh. it was like part of some, um, I don't know, nomadic culture in Ireland. And they, it's a little bit condescending. Whatever their origins, these traveling people have a rich and different culture. It's different. It's different, but it's fine. Whoever these weirdos may be. <laughs> they have <laughs> dogs. <laughs> They've got dogs that ride donkeys. Uh, no, I, you're right. They, they were like smart, sophisticated windows. They weren't yeah. just like, they weren't flashy. They weren't neon pink. They were no. just white bordered. Zoom in, disappear. Yep. I like it. I, 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 I'm not going to say I respect the hell out of it. Yeah. But I respect it. It's just a working class punch in, punch out flying windows. You got to include those for St. Patrick's Day, mm -hmm. too. Yep. All right, should we get into uh, some raviolis here? Sure, you want to say it in a dirty way? I would rather not. Okay. Come on, let's see your raviolis. Show us 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 your raviolis. Okay, we might have a special guest ravioli. Uh, George, do you want to show us your ravioli today? Sure. Wait, this wait a second. Why, why don't we ever let them show raviolis? Why do we only show the raviolis, Nick? Because maybe because they don't get paid to do this show, so we try that's to make true. it easier for them. That's, that's I don't know. That's point. just my nope. You, okay. nope. So you got the right answer. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, this is a historical ravioli. You know, it was one year ago that we all—well, not all of us—but we, uh, the last episode was shot entirely in uh, FFF headquarters. Where I am currently. Yes, yeah. but uh, you and Nick have not appeared there since, I don't believe. So Not together, and yeah, so you, you you went back to that episode. Steve, you were out that week, right? You were sick. I was out sick, and out of caution, I uh, I did not come in. Well, that gets discussed. Let's oh, okay. watch. Let's, I haven't watched this since. I have trouble watching uh, my old vi old videos of me, but uh, am I going to have trouble with this? <laughs> Holy shit! Whoa! Jesus Christ! What happened? Oh boy! Yeah. Uh, George is directing. First of all, he's taking some reasonable precautions over there. George, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, George, who is our VHS detective, we we give him given him a lot of crap about using a glove on the subway. Yeah. Um, about being a germaphobe. Turns out George was smarter than all of us. Was he though? Well, I mean. That's what everybody's doing now. I guess so. Yeah, he's ahead of his time. It, this isn't a joke. Like I'm doing this because we have like all these boxes that people have sent in from all around the country and all around the world. And plus, you and I, we just got back from England. By the way, we should say this is VCR party, the show where we watch uh, videos. We have an office with 10,000 VHS tapes, and we're going to watch all of them. I think these next three weeks, yeah. right? Uh, three months, probably. Next three months, yeah. we're going to watch Whoa. every single one of them because yeah. we're not going anywhere. Yep. Anyway, we just got back from England, shaking hands with strangers, being in small movie theaters uh, yeah. for the last three weeks. Yep. And so we're, you know, we should be quarantining. Like, we're the same. Yeah. So we're fine. But yeah. George... Well, that's why George is dressed as a uh, plague doctor. Because we're not. Ma are we making light of uh, the plague here, or are we? Uh... It's not a plague. It's but, not. Uh, no, not yet. Okay, but once it becomes a plague, then it, will people look back on us and be like, "Look at these guys." Probably. Yeah. 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 Okay. We're trying to find the silver lining, the lighter side here. And Steve, I... or, uh, not Steve. Steve's out. <laughs> Steve's you gone. That Steve's Steve is sick. Steve is actually sick. He says it's a cold. Yeah, not coronavirus, but we're taking. We're not having that's him come anywhere near say. us. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, and you could be healthy and carrying it, too, so you don't know. 
Uh, what what was that? You George? too. You're riding on subways. Of course, yeah. That's yeah, how you I, get. I, you're risking other people's lives right now. How was I supposed to get here? Oh man, the reality of this whole thing just keeps setting in over and over. But we're, we'll see you in the fall, so stay tuned, and hopefully we'll all get by in the meantime. We'll see you live in the fall. Yes, in, in the, the live. tour. We'll yeah, be yeah, here. Yeah, we'll be here constantly no. uh, doing uh, more than you want no. us to be. No. <laughs> That was the end. Frenchie. Oh, Frenchie. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. Frenchie wow. died. Yeah. Ooh, well. Memorial video for Steve. What I, the you way, know, man? I did have the antibodies when I finally got tested. So I think that's probably when I did have the. Uh, probably well, you did had have COVID, COVID. right? You got yeah. it then, huh? Yeah, at some point, yeah. Early adopter. Yeah. Yep. You're always on the vanguard of that. Well, that we didn't know. Because none of us your, knew. My car was parked. Um, outside my apartment, I don't, I don't have a garage or anything, so I was just parked on the street for three weeks, and it, the um, something underneath it got stolen. Uh, like I forget what the, it's called, but it's basically catalytic converter. Yeah, the catalytic converter got stolen, so I couldn't drive it. It was so loud, you couldn't drive it even a block. And That's, uh, you always get that thing stolen off I, your car. I, too. Apparently, like, it's happened a few times, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I have a 15-year-old Prius, but apparently they, they had some kind of, they have, they're made of platinum, so people, they're valuable. It's on like lined with gold. So yeah, I had to take the subway down, and it was the last time I really took the subway, and I didn't have a mask. They, they weren't selling masks anywhere in my neighborhood, so took a maskless subway ride down after being in England. It was And, and we thought surfaces were the big deal then, which I think a lot of people did. So that's what we were talking about, well, VHS tape dust and... You know, finger. Well, I'm honestly, that. I'm honestly surprised that we didn't get COVID because we were on packed airplanes. We rode on so many flights right around then when it was like huge. And, a week ago you know. on Saturday, I think, or maybe Sunday, we were on a plane back from Liverpool, England, and we had done a show there, and that was right when the country was going in lockdown. And we're like, do we do the show? Do we not? We decided to go ahead with it, and it was about half full, and it just felt weird. It's it just everybody was just kind of jittery. The yeah. whole night, yeah, and I think we tried selling spit paintings from Art Paul Schlosser that night, yeah. too. Didn't sell any, <laughs> no, like, like usual, zero. <laughs> zero. Uh, um, but anyway, thank you for. I wanted to, to make a, a brief pitch. Uh, I, I well, first of all, say thank you for supporting us on Patreon because we've yes. been unable to tour for a year, um, in person except for a drive in show last year, and uh, so and that's our primary way of making income. So the fact that we've been able to beef up these shows and Saturday morning cartoons. We did quarantine classics and all the online shows we've been adding and you're supporting us through Patreon has helped us. And we'd like to keep that going even when we're, we're able to tour again. So if uh, you haven't supported us on Patreon, you can do it at the link below and that helps us keep this kind of content going. So thank or you. Or come out because we're already starting to look uh, for fall shows now at this point. We're starting to book. I think uh, the vaccination's rolling out faster than everybody expected it to. And so uh, I, I think we're probably gonna have a small fall tour so come yeah. on see us there we haven't seen melinda's in forever i so. know yeah. yeah so we're looking forward to get back getting back on, on the road safely so we'll let you know we'll keep you posted when we book it, shows. and i've said this a million times i'll say it again of all the melinda's in the world we have the best melinda's our melinda's are the number one melinda's. yes so yeah. thank you and uh here's to many more shows in whatever form they are maybe in the office or maybe we do some hybrids where once a month we're in the office and then i don't know we'll have to just take it as it comes but nick let's show each other our raviolis okay let's do that now okay all right um, do you want to start or do you want me to start let me start okay i want to uh i'm excited about our toe tapping classic or our, our toe tapping uh tournament for uh, this weekend and so i put together both of my raviolis are all toe tappers that people have sent in in the last couple of weeks so first i'm going to start off with some classics like these are like classic like 80s 90s jingles and um you know what we consider toe tappers um this first one because they're so catchy you tap your toe to them um and we're pitting them against each other in a tournament that we call a tournament <laughs> thank you not thank expecting you. everybody to be on board with what a toe tapping tournament <laughs> so, uh, thank you for explaining what you're welcome tournament is. uh all right so uh, sarah sent this first one in from marine land from the 90s she said it played all the time in northeast ohio for this amusement park in ontario possibly in otis listen listen you got your ears on everyone loves a holiday watching the whales while they swim and play uh, they jump in the air just having fun in your hair everyone loves marine land except for the animals Ontario. It's always a fun place to go. Seeing friends you miss. A great 
seen friends you've missed. Look at that guy. That guy? <laughs> I missed you. <laughs> Juggling mime. A great big kiss. They're probably With devoured. soul fins that have gone limp from inactivity. Everyone loves Marie Land. Chomps off her head. Uh, all right. Scrappy Rat sent this next one. Uh, she says, a delightful jingle for Glamorama Laundromats, a now defunct company originally from the Triangle portion of, of North Carolina. And this was on AV Geek's lunch stream, which I highly mm. recommend everybody watch on Facebook. Yeah, we were on there one time. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, here's Glamorama. This is just such a soothing song. We've never really had anything like this era. Your cleaner. Marshals were different back then. Yeah. I don't know. You just shoot the rotating sign. <laughs> Go with it. <laughs> the forerunner to the flying window. <laughs> the rotating sign. Okay. So, you know what we should do when after we finish the tournament, whoever wins the tournament, or maybe like the top four in the championship round of the tournament, we take it to skips AV geeks lunch. And then we go against maybe his four best ones yeah, and we see who wins it. Yes. Yeah. We can. Yeah. We take the show on the road. Uh, all right. This one is from gorgeous Jeff. This is a San Diego jingle for our local Honda dealership. It's kind of a big deal around here. He said, honestly, it's a jammer. And I a hundred percent agree with him. Listen mm. to this song. This is a great song. There's a hard driving beat called the rhythm of the street. And it tells you the city's alive. Well, you move to that sound and you're not slowing down. You just get in your car and you drive. Woo! My sing me son. My sing me son. My sing me son moves you. Yeah, nice. that, that that could have been a top forty hit. Yeah, don't you think? I mean, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, uh, Jeremy sent in this last one. I'm going to show you for this block of toe tappers. Uh, he said this is a classic from Winnipeg, Canada, or Wicked Peg, as mm. they deemed it. Magazine. Oh. Parked on the beach. <laughs> Wicked. Wicked. Wow. The bubble. That's so cool. It's ahead of its time. It wait, really see, was. But did you see that at the end there? Yeah, I thought that was there's, the next another, No, no, no. There, there was the, the next flash in of, the lineup. No, yeah, yeah. Well, what what it followed after? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. This is the commercial. I want to see that one. I know. That's like, what if it Jeremy. was uh, Frank Worley also in a green suit? There's a frame of that there too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Great. All right. Well, the uh, toe tapping right. tournament uh, first round is happening this weekend, so join us for that. We're gonna do the draft too. We're gonna do shoot a draft. We're gonna put it up on our Patreon, and. Uh, yeah, I, think, right. I have a feeling it's going to be contentious because I know exactly what I want. I want Jeff's birds so bad. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, uh, look forward to that. Uh, were you, Adam. Were you uh, being sarcastic? Huh? Were you being sarcastic? Interesting. Uh, sort of, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We've, all, we've yeah. all seen Jeff birds a million times. I, I don't, I'm not that excited about it anymore. You, but... you won't draft in Jeff's birds in the first round? I don't think I will. Really? I I will. Steve I have George? Other, would I have you guys other favorites? Would you guys draft Jeff's birds in the first round? I'm not going to tell you because if I'm looking at it, then I know you might try to trade up. To yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There's a lot going on here. Okay. Well, Adam uh, on Instagram sent us a video and said that uh, there's a kids show in the 80s. It ran till I think 1985 uh, called Harrigan, hosted by a leprechaun. Uh, for kids show it, it was i think out of uh, ottawa at first then moved to kingston ontario and it was syndicated so you could catch this like whenever they aired it usually saturdays on local tv in in ontario and so i cut a little bit of uh of harrigan with uh i think um i don't know if this is an, an accurate irish accent but i'm giving him the benefit of the doubt <laughs> Looking for fun in Harry 
Good day, Dublin. Hello, little friends. Nice to see you. What do you call a rich Egyptian? A rich Egyptian? Gee, I don't know, Harrigan. You call him mummy, mummy, mum. My mouth doesn't work, <laughs> Dublin. Mummy bags. <laughs> mummy bags. <laughs> a poem. A poem. I like Harrigan. Harrigan likes me. I love Harrigan. Harrigan, Harrigan loves, loves me. me. Harrigan's on TV, but not me. No, you're not. What do you think our little friends want to hear? How about we hear a story about a girl? A girl? Yep. Certainly. That's always a good story. Yep, right? yep, yep. But how about if we do a story about a naughty girl? A naughty girl, Mr. Yep. Green? Yep, yep. I mean, just, just not only little boys can be naughty. Oh. I guess you've got a point there. There yep. could be any little girls, too. That's right. Okay. Sometimes. Yeah. Let me go and see if I can find a book about a naughty little girl. Just for okay. change. Okay. Okay? Okay. Here we go. I'll go okay. to the Ready? adult bookstore. Yep. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. These are drawings that kids sent in. And watch how Harrigan totally misses what somebody drew here. <laughs> Boy, there's a warrior. Yes. Oh boy, there's a warrior. Yeah. Happy that all of you joined us. It was clearly Skeletor. Goes, oh boy, there's a warrior. <laughs> oh boy, there's a warrior. Yes. That's a decent Skeletor. It is. We're happy that all of you joined us today. We'll see you here next week. Until then, I'll say the top of the morning to you every day. From Harry Ancient of so maybe people know more about that. But, oh, uh, Adam sent a little update was that after the show was done, he opened up a, his own pizza shop called Godfather's, not Godfather's Pizza, but Godfather's. And um, it was around the corner from Adam's house. And he would go in and he said he in no way seemed Irish at all. So it's total character. And apparently, if you recognized him from Harrigan, he would do a little jig and a dance for you at the pizza shop. Oh, so. That's that's no way to live. <laughs> like you see him in the mall or something, and you're like, hey, you're Harrigan. Do the dance. All right. A bunch of, <laughs> a bunch of teenagers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. I bet he went in disguise. I bet he put on, like, some Groucho glasses and, like, yeah. Yeah. Poor Harrigan. Disguised his Irish accent. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right. More toe tappers. These toe tappers are, these are contemporary toe tappers, or I like to call them contemporary toe tappers. Contemporary <sighs> toe tappers. Um, these are I'm more modern. I'm going to hop off for a minute, but uh, I'll, I'll be back on in a little bit. <laughs> these are more, these are more modern toe tappers that I, you know, honestly, I don't think they're going to make it onto the show, but I thought it'd be fun to play some of them because they're, they're, you know, within the last 10 years, these have been made. This first one comes from Mo C from Columbus, Ohio. He sent this Columbus pizza commercial. That's actually a radio jingle. And I replied back and I was like, you know, radio jingles are fine, but like, do they have the TV commercial? Because, you know, we're a visual show. So, right. uh, and he said that he found one on, on uh, YouTube, somebody put together using all Google images. So that counts, uh, I guess. Yeah, that counts. So uh, here's, here's a, uh, what was it called? Riz I forgot what it was Rizzolos? called. Rizzolos? Rizzolos yeah. or something? Yeah. yeah. Pizza is my life. <laughs> oh, they don't skimp on the pepperoni. No, no, sir. They seem like a little burnt there, don't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But some people like burnt yeah. Pizza is my life. Kind of sad if pizza's your life. I know it's pretty. That's very sad. Burnt pizza. Um, <laughs> uh, Dale sent this one. He said a real toe tapper that I hear fifty times a week. It's got to be an Otis, and mm. I agree with him. I think this has to be an Otis. Oh, yeah? yeah. And it seems like I follow Otis on Instagram, and he's always 
posting from his commercial shoots in the studios, and this seems very Odyssey. Okay. So. My house has a new glow. I love my windows. Universal windows. I let in the sun rays. More of the heat stays. Oh. Universal windows direct. Right now, buy one window and get another free. Plus, get 0% financing for up to 36 months. I love my windows. They've got that brand new home effect. Ooh, I don't like her dances. Universal windows direct. I'm probably not going to draft that one. What? No. Ooh. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Hold on. Give it like away. Yeah, something yeah, very yeah. exciting. Uh, all right. John sent this last one. He said, I don't know if this is tournament worthy, mm -hmm. but Joe is going to love it. And it's short and catchy regardless. And he's he's right on both. I don't know if it's tournament worthy, but we'll see. We'll see how uh, how people react. We'll see what you guys think. It's for okay. a toy called Butt Heads. Butt Heads! Their heads are butt! It's pushy! Master of Martial Arts! Ripper! Ripper! Silent but deadly! Brain fart! He's a ghastly ghoul! And robot! The ultimate mm -hmm. fart machine! Butt Heads! Their heads are butts! In battle mode, shake them up and let them rip! Wet fart! Winner! Yeah. Now you stink bomb mode for epic pranks! Honey? Each butt head comes with its own stinky scratch Honey? and sniff! <laughs> Collect them all! Butt Heads! Their heads are... Yeah, so that's what I'm getting my niece and nephew for their birthday. They sold year. me. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, I, might I, draft, I might draft headbutt, headbutts. <laughs> really? You think so? Uh, I mean. It could be a dark horse. Headbutts, could... their butts are heads. I mean, that's that sticks in your head. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It sticks I in your butt head. I bet brain fart is the smart one. Yeah, got to be. Like the brainy smurf. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I ha I've seen the actual butt heads in Target. Actually, so they're, oh, they're really? gotten around, yeah. It's yeah, nice. John, John told me that he actually saw one of them in, in stores, so that's a real thing. I thought it was maybe a parody or like a, a spoof of some sort, but yeah. it's not. They're real. Um, oh. All right, good toe tappers to be excited about for the, the tournament. I have a, a, these aren't toe tappers necessarily, but I've been excited for uh, two weeks since Jeremiah turned me on to a guy named Joey Wells, who was a, a piano player for Bill Haley and the Comets. So he had some pedigree back in the day, kind of that rock and roll boogie woogie style uh, piano player. But as a solo artist, he has played rock and roll, heavy metal, country, and lately rap music. He's 80 now and he's still recording oh, music. Boy. And the best this part be is good. <laughs> best part is he does his own music videos. Um, and they're all sort of public access. So I did put together he's got dozens of these. Um, but I put together what I consider to be the best of Joey Wells. Yes. Turn it on. Pretty, pretty good hit. Not good bad. songwriter. The video's cool too. In my car, in the bar. It sounds like rap? an 80s Zaps, Zappa song, doesn't it? Like, is this I supposed to be the rap, though? Uh, yeah, this is one of his raps. Yep. Okay. Um, this is, uh, yeah, this is one of his raps, and I just, I, I just think of uh, Frank Zappa when the vocals kick in. Can you pause it on the poolside picture once it yeah. comes up? Bar in the bars at the pool. I ain't no See, retro rock. There's he. I just, I. I feel like there's the thumbnail right there, right? Yeah, you think that's uh, the thumbnail? It's up there. Yeah. <laughs> it's up there. Ooh, anywhere I gotta go, I'm there with my radio. Sony Walkman on my hip, from the morning till I go to bed. Everywhere I show, I'm there with my radio. Hey, Nick, pause it. This is yeah. so Jan Terry. This is so Jan it's, Terry. It's a combination of um, Jan Terry... Frank Worley, and I think there's a little bit of Larry Pierce, who we did a documentary about. The Dirty Country Music the Dirty Singer. Dirty Country Music yeah. Singer in here, too. But, but this is taken straight from yes. a Jan Terry video, but it looks like it was recorded around the same time as a Jan Terry same video. Same era, exactly. This is brilliant. All yep. right. Hey! Ducktails, ponytails, blue suede shoes, sideburns, pink pants, rhythm and blues. The music on the radio sounded so fine, I'm going back to a better time. Rockin' to a better time of horse drawn carrot <laughs> of Amish people. Yeah. Rock and roll, 
was my sound. I grabbed my baby and we'd go downtown. We danced our feet and really shine. We'd go back to a better time. He's also a professional yo-yo artist. Uh, of course he is. Yeah. To a better time. Hey! I know what you feel. Heavy metal. Your passion is real. Feel my steel. I genuinely like this song. Me too. Oh. Heavy metal kid. Heavy metal kid. Heavy metal kid. In my car. I can get to where I want to be. This is an ode to his car. <laughs> you notice. In my car. I can see the things I want to see. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Did That's he have that on the back of his car? Yes. Rock and roll legend Bill Haley's comments. Yep. MCA Records, Joey Wells. Yeah, that's his car. He wants everybody to know. He oh, likes yeah. the attention. Not okay. shy about it. I all. respect the hell out of that. And he's usually wearing a t-shirt of himself, too, that has like Joey Wells on it. <laughs> yeah. These are favorite. Pennsylvania plates, right? Yeah. Oh, know. he's from Baltimore. Uh, I think he lives, he's born in Baltimore, lives in Baltimore. But yeah, I think that's a Keystone State license plate. So maybe at the time he was in... PA? I'm not sure. In my car, in my car, I am free. That's a rap too, right? That's a, that was a rap too, and that's a more recent rap that he he put out. So I am just the biggest Joey Wells fan now. Is he still with us? He's still with us. He's eighty. He's still recording music and producing music, and he's written songs for other people as well. And I actually he has a a new song, a newer song he he made about Twitter that uh, he didn't make a video for, but I made a video for for it uh, that we'll watch on the way out tonight. It's called "Do that's- the Twitter." Oh man, yeah. you know, and I, I, I wanted to say like maybe we could get him and Jan Terry together for some sort of duet because Jan's still around too. But yeah, I don't know. I just I I feel like he's he's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, isn't he? I mean, Bill Haley probably is the, in the comments, so I guess he's included as, as that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Jeremiah, thank you for calling attention to this guy. Yes, this guy yeah, is and I've just fantastic. scratched the surface. More to come. Um. All right, nice. what do you want to do? Well, th- th- those are our raviolis. Shows your raviolis. Shows your raviolis. Shows your raviolis. Well, George put together a little something for um, today's show, so maybe we should get into that. Sure. Well, this this is going to be something. This is uh, a little bit different. Um, on VCR Party, you guys have introduced us to many different hunks over the years, right? You Certainly, got Mr. TSW. Mm-hmm. You got the gentleman of California, big hunks, and the car care tips guy. Yeah, um, I like where this is going. Um, but that's just the tip of the Manberg. Uh, there's a <laughs> uh, there's another batch of second tier hunks, and we're going to talk about them tonight in the first VCR Party Live Bachelor Auction. Oh, fun! Okay, all right. Okay, and there's like only one place with that could host this, right? Yep. Cheeks. <laughs> Cheeks. Cheeks. The Ladies Club. 20,001 North Cave Creek. Cheeks. Okay, so the way this works is we'll meet the hunks and discuss them, and then finally we'll rank them. And uh, remember, all proceeds from this auction go to Bunyan Surgeons Without Borders. Um, <laughs> that's not a typo. The proceeds go to podiatrists who are having trouble renting out their extra rooms. 
Okay. I'm having yeah. trouble reading it because it's not in pencil. Uh, okay. Uh, but yeah, okay. I, they didn't have that font on the <laughs> freefonts.net uh, or whatever. Okay. Illegible font. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, Bunyan surgery standard. So uh, sans let, serif. Let, <laughs> bachelor number one will take you dancing for a night you'll never forget. He's friendly, is a friend to the elderly, and don't worry, dinner's on him. Let me let him introduce himself. Hi, I'm Frank Pachowski. He's diminutive, he's hairy. So what do you think as as a as a uh, what do you think the bidding would be like on Frank Pachowski? Well, bidding would start at five hundred dollars on on Frank, okay. I think. Okay. What do you think of the pros and cons of of uh, an uh, an evening with Frank Pachowski? Well, uh, so wait, be a messy so what, car ride home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, that's a con. con, or is that a con? He, I think it's a con. I'm guessing he brings dinner or provides it, so that's a that's a pro. Right, it's a splasher's delight. <laughs> sure uh, is. Uh, um, well, he's he's definitely patriotic. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's definitely a pro. He's somebody me. you could bring home to meet your grandparents. Right. Okay. So so we have uh, there has been some concern in the message boards when he's been shown relatively recently that he had passed on, but that's not what my research indicates. No. He's he, alive and he is delicious. <laughs> yeah, he, he is alive. He is not dead. So our second bachelor loves the outdoors. He's confident, has a boisterous personality, and he'll keep you entertained all night long. Oh, and he loves to sing. Here is his rendition of a classic. There's a story of a man named Brady. <laughs> Who was busy with three boys of his own. (laughs) They were four men living all together. And they were all alone. Till the one day when this fellow met this lady. Oh yeah, I met this lady. (laughs) And she had three lovely daughters of her own. They were four women. Living all together. Oat shoes, no socks. Me. Stomach out. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody has to has to set that song to the actual Brady Bunch introduction. Uh, oh yeah, that's somebody, somebody work shorts. somebody work on that this week. Okay. Yeah. So again, I, I guess the, what spawned this is we've in recent weeks we've seen a lot of guys, and I I guess I feel like they're um, I don't know they're I, I guess in in. Uh, on a nature show, you describe them as presenting. You know, they're they're mm. they're trying to they're their mating of, call. Yes. Um, so okay. So Daniel Songer, I don't see any pros here. What are we What are we talking? Oh, what, I see nothing bidding? but pros. I see okay. nothing but pros. the only pros is that he has some nice decks to uh, you know overlook those mountains behind him. Oh, I just think he's just he's just endlessly entertaining. He's always on. He uh, you can always hear him. Like mm-hmm. you can I'm putting those all in my cons side, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's funny. Uh, he's did a, he's always on. He's loud. Um, um, the bidding he, oh. start. The bidding starts as uh, Songer has to pay you five hundred dollars to go on a date with him. Right. I think I think Joe would just keep outbidding himself. Mm hmm. Because uh, oh, he's such man. a fan. I'm I'm a huge fan. Yes. Oh, okay. More Songer. He's he's got my five hundred dollars. Okay. So. Our third bachelor is a happy-go-lucky sports enthusiast. He's shy, but a good listener. He also likes dancing, fantasy role-playing, and has an impeccable fashion sense. It's got to be Let's Terry Bradshaw. Him. Terry Bradshaw. Got to be Terry Bradshaw. Oh, no. Oh, it's the ultimate Packer fan. <laughs>
Do you know? Mm. Do you guys know what year? What year did he play for the Packers? The ultimate Packer fan? Yeah, was it? It was like late nineties. I think it? it was a wide receiver under Lynn Dickey, so it would have been okay. 83, 84. Okay. Right. he's coaching now, right? Is that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's okay. a special so, offensive coordinator. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So again, he seems like he seems like good the, dancer. The, the sort of hunk. I mean, clearly there. Are, we've seen a few different categories. We, we've got the the quiet type, like uh, Frank Pachalski. Um. And the ultimate Packer fan. And then you've got a uh, you know very talkative men like a uh, talkative man like Daniel Songer. So, I would say bidding would start at whatever the price is for tickets on the fifty yard line to Packer Stadium. Oh yes, That's pretty high for the championship football game. Yep, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, finally, our fourth bachelor is a self made entrepreneur with energy to spare. Uh, <laughs> Whatever you pay for him, you'll get a bargain. Okay. I think you know who this is. Uh, Five dollar bill here with some amazing deals from the No Frills yes. Dollar Bill Store, and we are rocking and rolling. That's your holiday. It was in first quality, top of the line. Great for anybody's house, anybody's man town, anybody's woman town. I'll give you woman town. Come on, deli cut sausage <laughs> bites. Huh? Oh, you be cooking tonight, baby. <laughs> That's the hula 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 lounger, baby. Instead of four ninety nine, a buck ninety nine. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yes. We love you, baby. Rock and roll. Don't forget Jack Links, the big ones. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my but, my uh, girlfriend has been saying doing the uh, thing <laughs> to me to to irritate me, and then I do it back. She's like, I don't like when you do it. It's too accurate. <laughs> like it's too accurate. <sighs> oh so, yeah. Well, yeah, but how you got those Abrahams with the aprons? <laughs> <laughs> Feels good for me, but not for them. You know how is saying? how is Dollar Bill any different than Songer though? You know, like I feel well, I've like been thinking about this a lot. Uh, <laughs> Dollar Bill is a prop comic. Mm-hmm. He's the carrot oh, top to Songer. Yeah, right. Oh, Song- Songer's more like yeah. the thinking man's comic. Like he's like, <laughs> right. He's it's all real like cere- cerebral material. The intellectual, maybe. kind of the intellectual humor. If you if you don't get in the intellectual humor, then maybe yeah, like he's Dollar sort Bill. of a he's sort of a Mort Saul. He grabs the newspaper, comments on what's going on in the news. Uh, sort of a. Yeah, Robert Klein, kind of politically right. aware. Exactly, Lenny Bruce. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the, so, what do you think? These are these are the two categories I think of men: the quiet guys and the loud guys. And there's really no in between. These are the four types of men that exist. <laughs> and I don't like well, any of them. Uh, <laughs> how is Frank Pachowski a quiet guy, though? Well, he's a sensitive it, artist. I feel like he's loud with his actions. Mm-hmm. That's. I mean, I guess then they all are. Well, so is the ultimate Packer fan. He's lying yeah. to his actions. But... That's true. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I don't know. So who would win? The, who would, who do you think? What's the ranking of, of the auction? Well, like, who, like who's for, who's number one seed? I'd yeah. say Pachowski. That'd be my top seed. I would say Songer. Oh, I would say the <laughs> ultimate Packer fan. Yeah, I'm really. Yeah. Number, number magical. Two for me. He likes to drink. He's gonna die at the end of the night. Yeah, but yeah, he dies. He. <laughs> The Santa hobo, or he reveals that he's it was actually a fever dream as he's dying. Yeah, so he's not long for this earth. Right, it's number not the date that will never end. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah, number two for me would be Dollar Bill. Hmm, because he's a sexual man. Well, no, just because he's just he's fun. He's fun. Mm-hmm. He's a, a night, a Saturday night out dancing with Dollar Bill. Mm-hmm. Like that, I think that would be a fun night. Too. Huh? I'd be curious to see in the chat what uh, people's rankings yeah. are. Uh, and that's no, mainly no, no. what this is about, is for the Melindas to really come to a consensus. All right, let us know. what we want. Maybe number three for poll. me is is Frank Pachowski. Number four is Mark, because I know Mark and I, you know. Well, is it yeah. Mark or is it the ultimate Packer fan? Is that oh, the, the oh, yeah. yeah. I, Wait, I, I that's not I, a real person? <laughs> <laughs> You've spoiled the entire... You've said too much. You've said too much. Uh, offensive Bachelor coordinator option. for the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad he couldn't stay in Green Bay. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Should we get to cyber videos? <laughs> Let's do it. This is the segment where we show you how to watch uh, cyber videos on the internet. Let's start with Steve. We haven't heard much from him. Well, um, I am continuing my run of where um, we're looking at athletes who have been in commercials. This week, we are going into one that was sent by Ross. Um, it was Mel Far Ford. Mel Far was a running back with the Lions whose career was cut short by injury, and he decided to open a number of car dealerships. Uh-huh. Uh, 
That's what they always do, isn't it? They always go to the car. Yeah. They always become used car salesmen. Yep. Or- I, th- I feel like a lot of them fail, and this guy was super successful, and I think I know why. Check out this commercial. The world of Susie Wong with Nancy Kwan will continue. And he was buying the best moment, airtime. So wait, wait, wait. I want to hear that. Back it up. Steve, don't talk over the. Wait, wait, Steve, what did you have to say? I just said he made sure he bought the best airtime, you know, when everyone's eyes were going to be on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's hear what this aired during. The world of Susie Wong with Nancy Kwan will continue in just a moment, so don't go away. The continuing adventures of Mel Farr Superstar, fighting high prices to bring you a far better deal. Yes, I would guarantee you $500 more for your trade. Push it, pull it, or carry it in. It's worth $500 more. Use your trade as a down payment at least one of 110 escorts in stock from as low as $88 per month. The other dealers can't guarantee you $500 more for your trade, offer service to midnight, and they cannot fly either. Wow. And that probably came out right around Superman, right? Like, the Christopher Reeve right. version? Yeah, yeah. It's Not the Zack Snyder like that. gritty yeah. reboot. But, and was Mel, was Mel Farr, was he a household name in Detroit? Like, was he that good before he got he was like a, He was the number seven pick in the in the draft. So uh, I think, you know, he had so seven no. seasons. Number seven? I don't know. I feel like it's the First top round, three. not seventh round. Oh, number seven in the first okay yeah, in yeah, the yeah. first round first okay. first round yes oh, got you. okay all right so people are excited about him i, I love so. this series i just wanted to keep going forever i i like Steve, the people I think sending you, them in i think you need your own special of all athlete i tell you so many people have sent in some great ones ross the guy who sent us this in or i think it's a guy who sent this in um he went like a deep dive in by sport and just started like he got into it and just started so now i have a huge list. Uh, Pamela sent some stuff in. There were just a lot of, uh, of Linda's. So I'm going to have fun. I'm going to do some super cuts with it. Uh, I'm going to have some fun. Oh, I, I, have some, I have some ideas percolating. Yes. George, what, what do you have uh, this this week? Well, well, I remembered a classic Philadelphia area commercial. It's a jingle, but I'm not sure if you'd consider it a toe tapper. So that's, I need your judgment here. I mean, Open if for you have discussion. To ask, if you yeah. have to ask, it probably isn't, but let's see. Hi, I'm Dr. Desert Dry, the basement doctor. I pay for this commercial, but I disclaim any responsibility for it. Water is high, don't you cry? Time to call Dr. Desert Dry. Desert Dry, Desert Dry. You got the problem, we got the cure. The best prescription for your basement floor. Toll free 800, don't hesitate. Dial 238 Toll free 800 now, don't you What's the doctor doing? Dial 238 Dr. Yes. Desert Drive wasn't even dancing. No, that's just kind of sitting there. That's absolutely a toe tapper, though. That's that, 100% a toe tapper. That has it all. It's bad audio, bad lighting, bad copy, bad delivery. The company owner appears, an incomprehensible sing along with a phone in it, number in it, uh, inconsistent choreography, a cast that doesn't want to be there. Um, it's a, <laughs> a single great song. Sh- it's a single shot. Uh, and uh, other than the title overlay, it's Dogma 95. Well, yes. it, and also it's. He has a great name. Like that's that's Doctor Barry Guitar level. That's Doctor Desert Day. I don't know Dr. if he Barry was Guitar. christened uh, Doctor Desert Dry. I think I think that was a name that was thrust upon marketing him. name. Yes. No, mm. no, 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 no. He wouldn't lie about something like that. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I got some more St. Patrick's Day content. This is a public access. Next timely tie-ins. Yep. He loves this timely tie-ins. Well, I went looking because I I kind of the well had run dry for cyber videos. I I played a lot of the classics and uh yeah that's it for internet videos no more (laughs) well i usually don't like i'm not like scouring the internet for funny videos i'm usually sticking to vhs this is a little outside my comfort zone but uh i went looking for i just put irish public access and i found something from fort wayne indiana a a show called the david sowert show and this is the saint patrick's day episode and like most of the content we've shown i think this is respectful uh of the irish heritage This has to be Pachowski. <laughs> hello, 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 me hearties, me l- ladies and gents. I am Louis the Leprechaun. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's to you. I am the wrestling champ of the Leprechauns because I am the largest champ. Here's the belt I got. The champion fighter, fighting Leprechaun of Ireland. See, it's easy for me because I am the largest Leprechaun, so I just... Kick the little boogers down and, yes, win the wrestling champ of Ireland. Yes. 
I included that because he says kick the little boogers down. And I just really didn't like when he said that. Yeah, you, you're not a big fan of, of the word booger, right? No, no. Okay. The, the character booger, yes, but the word, no. <laughs> this is basically the whole show for a half hour. He's doing various Irish characters in this accent. Me, because I am the largest leprechaun, so I just kick the little boogers down and, yes, win the wrestling champ of Ireland. Yes, St. Patrick, he, he drove out all the snakes, but I like to test my faith with the snakes. See, ah, today I test my faith with the snake. Lord, if my faith in thee, Lord, if my faith in thee, Lord, if I am in sin, if I am wrong, let the snake bite me. Is it religious? Yes, yes. No. There was a fellow named Riddle whose hobby was playing the fiddle. He went to the john with a roaring heart on, and the riddle fiddled with his diddle. <laughs> Maybe a little too adult. <laughs> I don't care about... I think that should be the title of this show. Maybe a little too adult. <laughs> too adult. I don't care about people j joke about me as long as the jokes are short. I mean, really short, like... Oh, oh well, yeah, that's short. Here we go. I am the Lord of the Dance. You can call me Michael Fatley. Michael Fatley. Where was Thank he you. in George's Bachelor thing? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Might need to do one of these every week. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, happy Thank Patrick's Day to you. I think there's a flub. I think he says, thank you, happy Thanks Patrick's Day. So uh -oh. that's the only reason I included that. <laughs> Give it a close listen. Uh -oh. Thank you. Uh, happy Thank Patrick's Day to you. Happy Thank Patrick's Day to you. I said Happy Thanksgiving earlier on. I, I know. Like some sort of a, yeah. 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 <laughs> And that's the David Soward show. So, hey, sometimes cyber videos can surprise you. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, Nick, will you, we talked about bo boogers. Will you tell the time about a text that you got from an ex-girlfriend? Yeah, I had flown to Texas to see somebody I was dating. And um, I know she she flew to New York to see me. And yeah. I said, I, I'm going to pick you up from the airport. And she said, no, I'll get a cab. And I said, I'm already on my way. This and is her, all through text. This is yeah, all over text. All over okay. text. And then uh, over text, she replied, you are a boger. So the no, letter. But she said, she said, you're. Yeah. You are. Out the apostrophe. Yeah. Oh. No, it was you are. You're a boger. So you spelled booger wrong. And I was like, oh, this is going to be a long weekend. <laughs> and uh, the it kind of ended after that. I think that was that text alone. You're a boger was enough to uh oh, i like nick's ex-girlfriend corner yeah <laughs> oh that's a fun one that could that be one. a fun one nick's ex-girlfriend corner let's work, Didn't on work that. out you know what i'll take that corner nick you don't have to worry about it i'll take that corner i'd rather you didn't do this corner i for the protection of everybody involved you're a boger uh all right let's get in some imgs i got a i will first let me say i have a brand new opening graphic that uh, Jeff made the music and the reason Je Jeff sent this in and his lyrics explain what IMGs are. So I was like, okay, this is going to be the new opening graphic. Our old opening graphic is going to be our closing graphic. So we got two graphics for IMGs. Wow. Here's the brand new one from Jeff. It's good. It's really good. Chicken shit. Yeah! <laughs> that one, video transmission. Uploaded with no intention. Harvested semi ethically. Welcome to IMG. <laughs> Great. I love it. So, you guys all know it. No you questions. Guys all, you guys all know what IMGs we are, do. Now, right? Okay. Yep. Good. I don't have to say a goddamn word about what IMGs yep, are. Let's get into it. But if you want to be a harvester, email me, Joe, at foundfootagefest.com, and I'll, I'll assign you 20 IMG numbers. And uh, yeah, we'll make beautiful music together. Um, all right. This first one, IMG 0612, sent by Derek, 10 views, calls it Lawnmower Laugh. I, I've watched it 15 times today. It's so good.
I don't get it. It's in the middle of the. I have theories. Okay. I'm just gonna let her laugh. I have a theory. I have a theory. Wait, wait, it comes close to like a smack. <laughs> So I, I feel like they had neighbors that had overgrown their, their yep. lawn. And he's like, I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to like, I'm just going to mow. So I think it was a passive yep. aggressive thing, leaning towards aggressive. Right. Uh, I agree. I, that was my theory too. Um, all right. Next up, IMG 2429 from Flash. Flash sent this one. Six views. Uh, Flash said, kid awkwardly thinks pastor and laughs. This is a real quick one, so I'm probably going to have to back it up again. So observe silence. But um, I feel like this is a genuine laugh after the... Uh, anyway, watch it. Thank you, Pastor Darrell, for being an inspiration to all of us, and especially me. Um, thank you. <laughs> yep, that body language just says, open... <laughs> What what is he what is he genuinely laughing? He's genuinely laughing at something. Because I think he just feels awkward <laughs> saying thank you to a pastor. <laughs> but the mom, but the mom laughs too along he, with him. I think it's just the awkwardness. I think okay. it's uh, that's a, be my guess. One this more is time. the tenth take, I think. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Thank you, Pastor Darrell, for being an inspiration to all of us, and especially me. Um, <laughs> Keep Thank calm you. in something school. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the other thing. Makes that's the other thing. Ah, yes, like the <laughs> keep calm and whatever. The uh, little war posters and yeah. uh, okay. I love that Got one. Uh, here's 1729. Carl Stitz, the math the math corner guy. Mm, one coming he up next week, one. I believe, in new math corner. Yeah, he said I decided to look for IMG 1729. Why? 1729 is the smallest natural number, which can be written as the sum of two cubes in two different ways. And then in parentheses, he said, George probably knows this. George, do you know this? Well, I know that uh, that's equal to 1,000 plus 729. 1,000 is 10 cubed and 729 is 9 cubed. I actually can't think of the other one offhand, the okay. other sum. But oh, I hope, I hope uh, he doesn't drop a sponsor don't go writing any textbooks anytime yeah. soon, george. <laughs> egg on george's face uh then uh, carl said there weren't a lot of hits on this there were actually 10 hits on this and he calls this one harmonic motion and he thinks it would be good for a tedium corner and it would but instead of uh, uh, this isn't a tedium corner so i just cut together the exciting parts <laughs> He's trying to do a flip. <laughs> just not able to contort his body. And his timing right. is just so bad. He just like tries to flip when he's at the bottom. Yeah. What you can do too, you might find He's getting lots Go, of tips. Buddy. Oh, oh careful. Let yourself. Get the momentum. Get the momentum. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Easy Got it. for you to then say. He, then he performs a perfect <laughs> form flip. I did one of these once. I think Joel, we were on tour one time, and I... Uh, <laughs> it's constrictive. I'll just say that. Well, I was <laughs> gonna. I want to zoom in. I'm not able to zoom in here, but yeah, like around the around the package area. Is yeah, that what you're talking yeah, about? it's very constricting. Yeah. I yeah, thought you meant on her apron. <laughs> no, no her apron's got a lot of breathing room. <laughs> she got Grover. <laughs> he got one. Hey, oh, he got one. He did. Yeah, it gave him the win. Yes. All right. Thank you, Carl. George, I was thinking you should do an all IMG math corner. A math corner IMG sponsor. All based on numbers that have some meaning. Significant value, prime numbers and shit like that. Free one. Like. We could do pi. Stuff that gets you guys excited, gets your jollies off. Right. And then I'll change the opening credits for another one that's like a numerology based one. So it, that'll appeal to like, that gets both uh, audiences, the people who are into math and then the people who are into pseudoscience. Cha-ching. 
I got dollar signs in my eyes. Me now. too. Patreon.com yeah. slash found footage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lastly, IMG3193. Flash also sent this one, has 21 views. Oh boy. All right. This is woman huffing shampoo bottle in bathtub. Woman huffing shampoo bottle in bathtub. Got it. She doesn't know she's being videotaped right now. Do I have to blur this? I don't know. <laughs> probably. You probably should. Everyone should be allowed to do this without fear. Yeah. It's already, it's already on YouTube. What? Listen to this part. Listen to this part. Great ending. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Great ending. Even better. It gets better. We're, we're, we're watching. Well, don't, oh. don't talk over it. Don't talk over it. Don't talk I over it. I wasn't. You were. I, I was waiting for you. I was thinking that you were going to laugh at the wrong, at, at a different part. So just be quiet. All right. <laughs> She's gonna have one of those hiccup burps. <laughs> yeah. Locks are done. I didn't Absolutely. want you guys to miss that hiccup burp. I understand now. Yeah. I understand now. I, I get it now. <laughs> wow, good batch of IMGs. Good batch of cyber. They just keep videos. getting better. They, just because the it just keeps getting deeper and deeper, and there are more and more harvesters, and uh, yeah. So. All right, that's cyber videos for this week. Okay, I want to show one more thing before we get out of here. This one, uh, who sent this to to us? Uh, oh, I didn't even write down who wrote it. Um, oh, Ross. Ross sent this. Uh, he said, my wife is from southern New Hampshire and grew up watching Dollar Bill, who we just saw earlier. He was one of the eligible bachelors for who tonight. Who could forget? He just celebrated his 65th, birth 65th birthday in typical Bill fashion. And so here's... Dollar Bill's 65th birthday. People in New Hampshire put this together for him. <laughs> it was his birthday, and people lined up in cars. Because they all know him. Because they all know him from the commercials. Like, look at people are putting signs on their cars. Wow, Stop. Abrahams in their aprons. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Abraham. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever do the huh? Yeah. You did it. <laughs> the whole video is like hey. the whole video is like three minutes long and it's just a line of people honking their horns. Wow. For dollar bill. He's, he's a beloved. A, he's a local, statewide hero. Beloved local weirdo. We gotta get um, him on the show now. I because yes. I wanna know more and I want more footage too. Yeah, he seems like a cool dude. Yeah. So all yeah. right. Well, let's let's maybe get him on an EP boat. We'll watch the best of dollar bill. I'll do like yes. a long cut. For sure. Right. Thank you, Ross, for sending that. Yeah. George, you got something? Well, yeah, I stopped by the office and found a huge bag of stuff. And so I'm I'm gonna be stretching these these nice ish. Nice, very nice things that have been sent to me. You threw uh, an ish in there. What was that all about? Because this isn't technically a nice thing segment. Oh, right. We didn't right. put up the graphics. Don't so want to I, confuse people. Yeah. Exactly. These things are, are very, nice things. these are things and they're nice. So okay. Carl go. sent me these uh, polyhedrons for D&D. These are amazing. Wow. Uh, engraved. That's very nice. I took them for a roll a few days ago and, and it went well. And then I got this pin, which shows a, wizard being eaten by a dragon from George, your uh, character is kind of a wizard in dungeons and dragons yeah well he's a cleric he's a cleric uh, but uh, he's, he's a magic uh, user but the, that's from aaron and christina yeah uh, aaron and christina you very got much. me an orange cat pin too so did nick did you get anything from aaron and christina i don't I know did. i think everybody did i think steve did too uh i'll have to look i'll okay. have to look at the office i yeah. don't know so thank you for it but thank, thank you very much you did i appreciate it uh, okay, well, those are some nice things that don't technically count as nice things because we didn't have time to play the graphic. But uh, have the graphic, so thank you for just... sending those in. Of course, uh, you can send your nice things or, or anything really to us at the address below. And uh, we've got a bunch of spring shows coming up uh, for colleges. Actually, we're I think no, I, I put this I put this in the in the outline because we have uh, spring college shows coming up, and that means it's two word phrase. Uh, challenge season yeah so for anybody who uh, wants nick to say a two-word phrase put it in the comments email us joe at found 
and uh, we'll I'll I'll take all of them, and then I'll just pick my favorites. And just the example you know, we always give are like basketball murderers was something that would stick out like a sore thumb. So it makes it hard for me to work that into a show without people noticing. Yeah. So and nothing dirty and nothing uh, you know you can't obviously nothing that's going to be gross or offensive, but. Um, but yeah, like darker stuff. Uh, yeah, basketball murderers is a good example. So email us and, and put it in the comments, and uh, we'll yeah we'll have Nick uh, say them. We mentioned getting back on the road again. May fifteenth, we're going to be at Steel Stacks in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It's worth the drive because that venue is really cool. And so you buy like a block of four seats outdoors for your group. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Then we're going to be in LA in September and um, in Wisconsin in November. And we're going to do a drive-in show in July, too, that we can't talk about yet. But we'll be back at a drive-in uh, this summer. So look for us there. Yep. Lots of fun. All right. How, how are we going out here? Oh, we're going out uh, with Oh, some with Joey Wells. Joey Wells. Yes. Yeah. We're going to be doing the Twitter with Joey Wells. So uh, until – oh, by the way, at Saturday Morning Cartoons, we're watching Louis Anderson's cartoon, Life with Louie with Caitlin McGurk on, sh- on this Saturday. So tune in for that. Yes. Um, I, I think uh, we'll be right back right after that. Yeah, if we had been prepared, we could have done better. And uh, better luck next time, Chucky. Uh, remember, video game Nirvana ships. And until next time, my nose isn't full of yuck anymore. Well, what about me? Now let's tweet. Twitter, Twitter. Tweet, tweet, tweet. I saw you on Facebook. You look so sweet. Twitter, Twitter, tweet, 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 go to my space, where can we meet? Twitter, Twitter, tweet, 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 my videos on YouTube, see me complete. Yeah, Twitter, Twitter, tweet, 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 every time you Twitter, my heart starts to beat. You tweet me, and I'll tweet you, I'll make you feel better, and all brand new. Somewhere between the Twitter and the tweet, we'll go dancing on Main Street. When we return, Dr. Selmer will complete the bunion surgery. Yes, those are his pajamas he's wearing. All right, I gotta go. That's all. That's it. Let me see that one. Rocks are done. Gotta sleep. Bye. That's it. That it done. We did our best. If we'd been prepared, we could have done better. What do you think about Bibra? About what? My nose is for yuck anymore. And that's all I'm doing. Cheerio, do Tinkerbell! In a... We'll be right back right after that. And Kurt Polstead, the real great guy. Nice, nice. Goodbye.